Welcome to Mastering Solutions. In this problem, they want us to take this position versus time graph and to estimate the velocities at two seconds and four seconds. But in this one, it's unique in that all the other problems that we've done so far have had constant velocities where it was either a flat line with no velocity or it was pretty consistent and easy to get a slope from it. With this, we have a curve where it's not a straightforward slope. It's constantly changing the whole time. So how do we do that? What we do is we draw a tangent line, and then from that tangent line, then we're able to estimate the slope at that point. Now, a tangent line is a line where you draw a straight line, and it only touches the line at the one spot where you want it, and then it continues on and doesn't touch again. All right, so that's pretty close to a tangent line. It's not perfect, but... When we are trying to find the slope, you'll remember that the formula for the slope, slope is equal to the change in the rise, or delta rise, over the change in the run, or delta run. Obviously, delta anything's final minus initial, so we have rise final minus rise initial, over run final minus run initial. So now, whenever we look at this line that we just created, the rise, we're going from zero up to about 200. So let's put T of two seconds is equal to 200 meters minus zero meters. That's where we started out down there. And that's gonna be over the run, which is about, uh, it's like one second over to four seconds. So we have final of four seconds minus one second. So we have, 200 meters divided by three seconds. 200 divided by three gives us 66.6, and we can round that to just 67 meters per second. So that's a pretty good estimate for the velocity at exactly two seconds. Now let's do the same thing for four. Okay, that one is pretty terrible compared to the first one. I was having a really hard time getting it to line up just right. But that's uh, as good as we're going to get for my drawing skills, I guess. So now we have T of 4 seconds. All right, so the rise for here, we're going to say is 400 meters for the final, minus the initial is 0 again. 0 meters. And then that's all going to be divided by, that's basically five seconds, so five seconds minus two seconds. So now we have 400 meters for the numerator divided by three seconds for the denominator again. So we have 400 now divided by three gives us 133.33, and so we'll just round that down to 130 meters per second. So that is the estimate for t of 2 seconds and a t of 4 seconds.